Uh, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the uh, fourth video of this series on digital to analog conversion. And uh, we left off um, converting from digital to analog. So we're going to pick up here doing the opposite bit where, so this is the digital to analog bit that we just went over. So we're going to go ahead and take the analog signal here and convert it to a digital representation. Um, that would be, boom, this step right here. <coughs> so, uh, let's see. I think I have enough room here. Okay, so let's start with, um, let's say a small example. Uh, what am I doing here? One second, sorry about that. So, let's take an analog signal. Let me get my pen out. Um, say we have something, you know, easy just like that. Okay, uh, time down here. This is still voltage. And let's say we're looking right here. That's where we're converting at this given point in time. Now, remember, we're going to be doing, in the real world, you, you sample this thing. You, you do conversions every few you know milliseconds or microseconds even, depending on what the application is. Uh, we said before we're going to stick with the example that our VFS is 5 volts. Um, so this looks to be about 2 volts. That's what we're going to be working with here. Okay, so V in, uh, that's what we're going to be in as going in from our analog into our analog to digital converter. We're saying is 2 volts. <coughs> uh, we're going to use the, the same type of converter, so N. We're still dealing with 8 bits. I mean, we could do this with anything. Uh, full scale voltage we labeled over there is 5. I'm just writing it here to have everything together. Um, okay, so this is pretty much everything that we're given. Um, and, and from VFS and the number of bits we could get RVLSB, which we need. Um, and RVLSB is um, quite simply it's your VFS over 2 to the n. <coughs> so it's 5, 256. And I think we said that comes up to 19.5 MV. Well, let me just. So I might have messed up in previous videos. I might have said uh, we have 256 bits down here. I think I even might might have even wrote it <coughs> as five volts per 256 bits. Uh, this is absolutely wrong. <coughs> Sorry, I was misspeaking when I said that. We have eight bits, right? We know that, and. Uh, 8 bits gives us 256 and uh, we can call them steps. So that, um, you know, because if we're breaking our graph down, you can kind of see that they could be broken down into steps. You know, here's our values. So that's, you know, sorry for that. But uh, yeah, I believe this was 19.5 MV. Whoa, we're getting close there. Per step, okay. <coughs> Let me just check that. Yep, that's that's pretty correct. It's close enough. Okay, so now what we got to do is quantize our two volts here into 19.5 steps. Um, and that's just a fancy word for saying divide, really. Um, so this much is all our like, given information. Okay, so we're going to take our two volts. We're going to divide it by our LSB, VLSB, which is 19.5 MV. And that's going to give us 
approximately 102.4. Actually, no, it's not. This is actually, yeah, this is 19.53, right? If I just did 19.5, gives me 102.5. <coughs> and I should have kept that. Oh, well. All right, so we're dealing with 102.4 here. Now, if we go back to our scale that we were looking at before, right? So what does that mean? Oops. Um, this is a scale that I drew before and we said down here was zero and up here was VFS or 5 volts right and we're breaking this up into 256 discrete steps um, so I can't like I said before I can't really on here I can't break it up into 256 steps flip 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 um, but the idea was remember so um, at the first step here the value was 19.5 millivolts the next step, step two, or zero 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 one zero, uh, the value was thirty nine. Go up to the third step, and you add nineteen point five to that, and so on and so forth. Uh, so the question is, you know, where on the scale does this value come in? One hundred and two point four. Well, it's we have two hundred and fifty six, so it's probably right in this area somewhere, right? So just for visualization's sake, we're going to zoom in. This is my method of zooming in in this whole area. So, let's say here we have, I don't know, the 100th step, which, you know, what does that correspond to? Um, that corresponds to 195 MV. So, right away you tell out one, the 100th step, it's 195 MV, we just need to get to 2 MV, right? So this will be our 101st step. 102, 103, 104. So this is just a zoomed in <coughs> perspective of this area. Um, so ba -da -da, ba -da -ba. we said the value that we're going for is 102.4, which is going to be right in, it's going to be like here, right? Now this is where quantization error comes in. We can only represent, you know, values that land right on 102 or values that land right on 103. We don't have a representation for this. So what you're going to end up doing is rounding down, and this value is going to get bumped down to here, okay, at 102. And that is called our quantization error. And again, you could tell the more steps you have or the more bits, the less rounding you're going to, the, the, the less quant the less rounding errors you're going to get due to quantization error. So, right here, that's where that's where we live in our s in, in this scale. Okay, so that's great. Now, but how do we represent that as a binary code? 